Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video I will be showing you how to do summarized written text. Now this is a demonstration of how to perform summarized written text, not a lecture. So if you want to go through the lecture for summarized written text, feel free to go through our online recordings and then come back and watch this video for a demonstration. All right? Now how do we do summarized written text? We use the read and type method where we take information straight from the paragraph and paste it here and use connectors to connect the sentences and then we get full marks for that. So this is where I'm going to show you a demonstration and we're going to go through one of the exam questions and follow that up um, with our um, performance. Okay, so let's start without wasting any more time. So what is known prior knowledge or pre-existing knowledge? What is known is the knowledge, skill or ability that a learner begins to learn Learn new and learning encounter. Learner begin brings to a new okay. What is known is the knowledge, skill, or ability that a learner brings to a new learning encounter. This includes all knowledge that is available before the learning event and which has been gathered or developed by any means and in any situation, including both formal and quite informal learning. The learners need enough previous knowledge and understanding to enable to give them new things. They learn then mm -hmm. okay so as you can see here this is what is known this sentence and this sentence is pretty much the same sentence because this is talking about what is known so prior knowledge or pre-existing knowledge is the knowledge skill or ability that a learner brings to a new encounter so learners need enough previous knowledge and understanding to enable them to learn new things they also need help in making links with new and previous knowledge explicit it's considered to be valid to go through a process of what's been called activating prior knowledge. Teachers often go through this process in the beginning. We don't need to know that. They also use introductory strategies, blah, blah, blah. In terms of practicalities of teaching, this is a process of making children think about the topic or remember what has been. Okay. So teachers often go through this process at the beginning of a new topic. Okay. So that's the part we're going to use because the rest are just talking about teachers. So let's start. Learners need enough previous knowledge and understanding to enable them to learn new things and and they also need help in making help making links with new and previous knowledge explicit. Moreover, it is considered to be valuable to go through the through a process of what what has been called activating higher knowledge. which teachers often and it's a comma because after which you must put a comma before which which teachers often go through Okay, it is considered to be valuable to go through a process of what has been called activating in prior knowledge, which teachers often go through at the beginning of our new Now, this is what would ideally be the main part, okay? So if you want to use this part, you can as well. What is known 
is a knowledge. So prior knowledge or pre-existing knowledge is the knowledge, skill, or ability that a learner brings to a new learning encounter. Okay, let's let's write that down because we have a bit of word. Um, you know, we have a bit of word gap, so we can. So prior knowledge or pre-existing knowledge is the knowledge skill or ability that a learner brings to a new learning encounter. Okay. Prior knowledge, that's what I'm going to know. Or let's just use pre-existing knowledge, okay? Because, again, there's the same word, so there's no need. Pre-existing knowledge is the knowledge. And let's move that. And the learner brings to a new learning error. Okay, that's only four words. Should be good enough. Now submit. And blue. Okay, and this is how we do summarize written text. Hopefully this demonstration was helpful. Um, please make sure that if you have any questions to contact admin to sit down with the trainers for a consultation so that they can help you answer questions like this. Thanks.